from modest beginnings in Baltimore, Maryland, to an international billion dollar empire. My grandfather said, know your job, and I can promise you'll never be in a bread line. Since the beginning, Reginald F. Lewis was destined for success. I signed him up for camp. And he said, who's going to take care of my business? And I said, I will. And the first thing he said when he walked through the door, where's my money? A man with an unconventional approach to conventional institutions. I was told that he is the only person to get into Harvard Law School without formally applying. The thing I admired about Reginald Lewis, he was a take charge kind of a guy. The sheriff reached for me. Reggie grabs the sheriff's arm and says, wait a minute, who are you? I'm the high sheriff, who are you? And Reg, I'm Reginald F. Lewis, I represent uh, Reverend Chavis. Yes, he was a Wall Street, highly trained corporate lawyer, but he was a strong freedom fighter for civil rights. Welcome to Inside New York. We are honored and delighted to have on today's program Lloyda Nicholas Lewis, who is the chairman of the Reginald Lewis Foundation. And she's here to celebrate the premiere of a PBS documentary on her husband, Reginald F. Lewis, The Making of a Billion Dollar Empire. Lloyd is going to share with us much more about this great pioneer right here on Inside New York. So we welcome Lloyd Lewis. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, Joan. You know, we've known each other, it seems like nearly 30 years. I'm celebrating 25 years on the show. Congratulations. And we've never had you on, so this is such an honor. Thank you, the so, honor is mine. Thank you for having me here. In fact, it has been 30 years ago when he did the billion dollar deal of buying Beatrice International Foods. And so 30 years ago, it was a big deal. It was all over the papers. And since then, those who have been born after 1987, who are probably you know, under 40, do not know anything about him. So I'm so glad that PBS, WNETW, is showing it in Long Island, in New York City, and in New Jersey, starting February yes. 16. Right, they can check their listings, because for New York City, that's also WNET. That's right. Uh, Channel 13, as it was, you know, still called, I believe. And the uh, best thing about it is that because it is a public television, they can find it after, after February 18, yes. streaming online. Now, Na remember, right. WLIW.org. And this is something that's becoming much more common. You know, we, we hope to do that now after 25 years to also have our shows on demand so that you can see them at any time. And so I want people to know that there was a man who did it. Yes. From humble beginnings and yet was able to go to the heights of corporate America by buying a billion dollar company. You know, when I was coming here to the studio, I was just thinking, Empire. A lot of young people know of the show Empire, which is so popular, but many of them don't know that there's actually a person who owned a billion dollar empire in 1987 who is African American. That's right. He bought Beatrice International Foods for nearly a billion dollars, and it was consisting of 64 companies in 31 countries. Right. How about that? But you know, and this is what people forget. Oh my God, he did one billion. But before that, he had three failures. But what I remember most is that when he said, when I was talking about, you know, being African-American, he was, mm -hmm. uh, I was going to talk about, you know, race relations and he immediately cut me short. I'm international. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to be treated as right. a black man, he was international. He was always ready for new adventure. Yes. And of course, I was ready too. I just want people to know that the uh, documentary pioneers, Reginald F. Lewis and the making of a billion dollar empire will be in February. And uh, after that, it will be streaming online. Yes. WLIW.org. Thank yes. you. 
And we'll have this interview streaming as well. Oh, is that okay. right? It's wonderful. Thank you for having me. 64 companies in 31 countries for almost $1 billion. So in that sense, he is a pioneer. The fact that we were able to close a gargantuan deal, given its international character, was just, uh, it, was, it was absolutely off the charts. There is no doubt that Reginald Lewis's success paved the way for me and many others 